Let's find the inverse cotangent of negative 1. Write this here. Oops. And what we're going to do next is rewrite this as cotangent of x equals negative 1. Because it's cotangent, this means it's going to be x over y, and your 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 range of your functions can be determined by your denominator y. So uh, y is 0 anywhere from 0 to pi. So this means your bounds for x, in this case, x is just the random vari variable we chose. It's going to be between 0 and pi. That's what we can pick. Let me place that tangent, which is x over y, is going to be a negative value. is going to be in quadrant 2. So I'll do this here real quick. It's going to be x over y. Uh, so it's negative 1 over 1. There we have it. And this is 3 pi over 4. So our solution in this case for x is going to be 3 pi over 4.